Okay, welcome back for part three, which this is now my second time recording this. Holy crap, this game is definitely much, much harder than uh, the original FFT to the point that I'm probably honestly not going to go through what our stuff is until after the battle. So yeah, I'm not going to do that every time from now on like I did the last part. It's going to be whatever new stuff we had since last video. I'm going to talk about it after the fight is over so that I know that we actually completed the fight. And I'm not wasting my time talking. Uh, we do have a new guy, uh, Tauros, who Dirt was able to invite. So here's uh, our Pokemon friend. And uh, I guess we're still going to bring him because I do have Cooper with, uh, yeah, with Monster Skill here. Which unlocks his uh, last ability, which is a pretty sweet ability, which we need to freaking use because it's got infinite vertical tolerance. So, which is very handy in this map, I just realized. Uh, I think we need Blah uh, over Seaman. And I kind of wish, I just realized that I don't have Blah with what I need him to have. But uh, we're going to give it a try anyway. And Dirt the Mediator is going to try to invite people. So. Okay, I think my plan for this is going to be that we need to keep everyone on one front and try to get to kill those archers at the top of the stage. Here's a cutscene that unfortunately we're going to have to skip because I've had to replay this and I don't want to go through and explain the cutscene again. But pretty much this is Weedrath. Uh, if you, you may recognize that name from Beowulf, the story, and uh, Beowulf is also a character in this game, so it's kind of cool. Um, we'll find out more about Weedrath as the game goes on, and uh, at one point there's a part in the game where Weedraft really screws people up who play this game for the first time and don't know what they're doing. Okay, let's see, Bull Demon, or uh, <coughs> Tauros, is going to get his turn next, and we want him to be able to... Wait, where's the other dude? Okay, oh, okay, he's going to be eventually coming up. Okay, I want to see what these guys have. This guy's got the Silver Bow, Keith, and... Okay, this guy's got a Crossbow, called the Crossbow. Okay, that does, that's actually a pretty decently strong crossbow for this point. And a round shield, so hmm. I think that may be more valuable to me, even though I kind of would like a longbow more. So that's Mithra Vest, that's also Mithra Vest. Okay, and that guy has battle boots instead of an accessory. I mean, he's got maintenance too. Uh, this guy's got 59 faith, this guy's got 66. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can't move. Okay, the bull demon needs to move right here to uh, delete a spot. Okay, so we're gonna move uh, Ramza up one panel, I think, right? Because we need to move and hit. Yeah, or is that even in range? One, two, three, four, five, six. Crap, he needs to be like exactly on delete his panel. Crap. Uh, how about this guy? Probably the same deal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, uh, can he move here? Yes, he can. Okay, we're gonna move Cooper up two spaces then. And we're gonna have him do Toxino up. Tox Toxkill, yeah. Uh, Mediator is completely changed, but I'll explain that after the battle again, because I don't feel like explaining it in case this is a failed attempt. And uh, the only one I can yell at is my Tauros. So I'm gonna move up here. And we're gonna use Sacred Cleave, which is his new ability. Strikes everyone in, in a six in a line, regardless of vertical or post. What? What? Okay, apparently the vertical tolerance is uh, worse than four. I was not aware of this. Okay, that completely changes strategy. I'm a little bit upset now. Okay. Okay, that's really annoying, but whatever. Uh, we're going to send Blob up here, I guess. Because we got to get these guys who are at higher elevation. we got to take them down. And we need to use... Cheer up, beat down. Uh, I guess accumulate, right? Nerd also needs to come up here and back blah up. Let's see, we can union, blind. It'd be sweet to blind either of these guys, but uh, this guy's probably not, not going to get hit by it due to low faith. Let's see, paralyze. It's not going to be able to hit that guy. Uh, let's see, how about talk skill? We can do re raise, maybe. Let's do re raise and blah. Preach and missed. And yeah, I just got a free resurrection, so. Or did he even die? Maybe that was the last video where he died. I don't know. Uh, Delete and Algus are following our guys, so that's cool. Speed Ruin didn't hit. We got two wizards here, too. And uh, they're not in range yet. Okay, my dude tasted. I'm gonna try to berserk those wizards if uh, it's possible. Let's see, Berserk has a range of 
One, two, three. So I would need to move. I don't think I can move. In yeah, because this guy's gonna he's gonna block the way. Or is he? Uh, what's the vertical tolerance on Berserk? Okay, I'm gonna take a, another risk and hope that <laughs> vertical tolerance is not gonna screw me up. Right, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, will it work? Yes, it will. Okay. 51% Berserk. This will keep him from casting spells. Okay, and it's really difficult to clear the Berserk status, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna wear off in time. Because I know that happened to me with Dirt when I was... It may have even been the sky. Or no, because then Dirt would have stayed Berserk the rest of the fight. But, um, yeah, that, that wizard is not gonna cast any spells for the rest of the fight, so that's really good. And now these archers, or marksmen, are gonna come in and start... Okay, who was that? Was that Blah? No. Okay, it was Algus. Nice. Okay, I don't care about Algus. Algus, Algus can go do whatever. Uh, let's see, I guess we could revive Algus, it might be a nice thing to do, but we're probably not going to. Okay, we're gonna come up here, and, uh, get a little bit of vertical help. Let's see, threaten. Let's see if I can, what's the chance on this guy? 26% don't act. If you, no, that's not what I want. Uh, preach, maybe. 25%. So this guy's Pisces, so he's got good combat with Cooper, so... That's kind of one reason I wanted them, because I knew Cooper and this guy would be uh, together some. Invite, 4%. I'm tempted to go for that, just because Invite would totally turn the flow of the battle. Uh, McDervin, 33%. Preach, let's see. Persuade. Me. I would just delay his turn. Guts, that's probably what I want to do. Yeah, because Regan on the... Uh, on the bull, on the uh, Tauros here is gonna do a lot. Give him some leftovers, right? Give him some leftovers. And now Blog gets a turn. We need to kill these dudes like hardcore. And please tell me Time Strike has good. Okay, Ted. Who's Ted? Who is Ted? Which one is Ted? That's no, not Ted. That's Weasel. Weasel the Weasel. Ted is a. Oh, that's probably the knight, right? No, Kelly. Okay, Ted's the wizard who's berserk, so whatever. Uh, we're gonna do a time strike, I guess. You know what else would be really good for this fight? Freaking arrow guard. Would be really sweet. Okay, um... We're gonna move dirt up here, see what some talk skills can do. Threaten... Oh yeah, I forgot that... Yeah, okay, we need to use the other skill for that. Not eat, uh... Insult can also inflict Berserk, but uh, that's not really that helpful on wizards, or on, uh, on uh, archers. Uh, what was I trying to do? I don't know. Uh, let's see, how fast can we get a Paralyze off? Okay, we're going to try to Paralyze these two guys, and it's got pretty good chance to work, so we're going to go for that. That would be sweet if that landed. And the League is going to abuse items' infinite vertical tolerance to uh, cure Algus. Maybe damage. Here comes Paralyze. Come on, come on, don't act! Missed! Come on, don't act. Okay, we landed it on one, so that's satisfactory. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this guy right now. Um, let's see, what is his jump? He's got three jump, right? So he can move. Can't move there. He can, he'll have to get up, like right here, in order to get up there. Oh yeah, he's also going to have to climb down right here. Uh, we'll see. Shake off is going to deal 60, 59%. Blow fire. Is that 59% I said? Yes, okay, that's pretty bad. So we're going to do blow fire. It'll deal more damage and better accuracy. And maybe it won't get me countered too. If this guy even has it. I think he does. Algus' turn. He's going to potion himself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're out of high potions now. This guy's gonna speed ruin. And it missed again. And this wizard's gonna bolt the Lita. Didn't take too much from it. It'd be nice if we could berserk him too. The Lita, the Lita is like guarding everything. It's really nice. Uh, let's see, this wizard. Hmm. Let's see, what can Austin Ramsey do? That's. Well, let's see. Is this guy. I think haste wore off of my uh, Toros here. Yeah, okay. Haste wore off. 
So we're going to put Pace back on him. We're, I'm just going to have Ramses stay up here and be a uh, super buff man. Let's see. The, what's this guy charging? What is he charging? Time strike on... Al okay, I don't care about Algus. If it was someone important, I would actually care, but I don't, so whatever. Uh, let's see, however... Well, uh, I need to... I need to move my people in some way. Uh, there's, no, there's like no good panel to do this on. I could probably maybe kill this guy. Let's see, how fast would a time strike be for blah? Yeah, it would be after the crazy dude. Okay, uh... Hmm. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna go for the uh, guy up here. I mean, it'd be nice to do a stunning strike and knock this guy out of his attack, but it's not on someone I really care about. So time strike would deal 32. How much would a uh, bullseye deal? 24. It would be now. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm marking it. Right. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do time strike, which is about like charge plus three if you've played this game before, something like that. I was about to say, please don't get a crit and knock the guy to uh, do that, knock him forward and out of range. Time strike. I don't care about Algus. Algus can just go die. The uh, Berserk Mage is going to pass on his turn. So yeah, I definitely want to put Berserk on the other Mage too. That'll be really sweet. So we're going to have the Bull Demon, or Tauros. I should probably call him by his name, right? We're going to have our Tauros move over here and try to Berserk this guy. 49% chance. And he's Berserk too, so we got really lucky on those Berserk chances. Yeah, the nice thing about monsters is you don't have to develop them with jobs and whatnot. You can just use them whenever and dump them as you need them. So, yeah, we're going to be using monsters, as you can tell from the nickname there. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. My foot hit my microphone cord. Uh, we're going to be using monsters as Pokemon, so that's going to be pretty fun. And Algus is going to get resurrected again and potion himself. Fast button, please. Here comes Kelly the Knight, who's going to do speed run for the third time, and finally connected with it. Berserk Wizard is going to use his fire rod in Is that a fire rod? I guess it had to be, right? Magic run on dirt. Drop his MP, but whatever. Is that a fire rod that guy has? Yeah, flame rod, right? It's fire elemental. So, uh, uh, Toros here absorbs fire. He's He's been hacked with, uh, uh, Fire Absorb, I guess it's not Flash Fire. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, at this point I need to start moving Cooper around. And uh, down from this little platform here. Unfortunately, the mage will probably figure out what to do now. Uh, I'm going to go for the off chance invite on this night. Holy crap, I just landed a 4% invite. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, we got to win this now. We got to win this fight. We got to win this fight. We gotta do this, we gotta do this, second time, second time, we gotta do this now, we gotta do this, we need to send a guy down there who can, uh, revive Cooper if need be, holy crap, I'm excited now, uh, okay, actually nobody can revive Cooper, so, uh, Cooper needs to stay alive, slash we need to kill people, okay, uh, this is, oh, this guy has item, okay, so he can, he can revive Cooper, sweet, 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 nice, 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 and he's under our control, right, not a guest, well, he's a guest, but I'm pretty sure he's under our control, uh, or is he? Crap, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Anyway, uh, we, need to, we do need to kill these guys off. And 39%. Let's see how much a bullseye would deal. Okay, yeah. Law's gonna totally own this dude. I guess they have a good compat or something. Because that was a ton of damage. Okay, Dirt's gonna come up here now. I almost wanna go. Uh, so, how much health does this guy have left? 64. Eh. I'm going to go ahead and make sure we get a hit in on him. And now Bloss should be able to finish him off from there. Here comes the Berserk Wizard. He's going to hit his own man and poison him. And the lead and Algus are pretty much just resurrecting each other because they can't really do anything else. They're a little bit too weak. Attacking the Berserk Wizard, not really what I wanted, but okay. Maybe he'll uh, learn to potion himself. Uh, let's see. Cooper needs to get somewhere, let's see, how much is a preach on myself, because I want to make sure I can be revived, if need be, yes, okay, we got re-raise, 
which will revive us when our turn counter comes up again. So I'm going to move up here because Cooper is probably our most important unit to keep alive because he's got re rays and all that stuff. And okay, we're going to go over here with Law. 100%, although 16, that's not very good. Time Strike. And so Keith is one of these guys. Yeah, Stri okay, it's Striker. What an interesting name. Yeah, and that wouldn't even deal enough. So uh, we're going to do. We're going to do. Not be done. Uh, Bullseye because it'll deal a little bit more damage. So yeah, that must have just been really good compact with that other archer as to why Blah was dealing so much. And here comes Tauros. Um, so Knight still has a pretty good amount left. We're going to move Tauros up here. And he is going to blow fire on this guy for a pretty good amount of damage. Fire Blast! There we go. Actually, that's more like Flamethrower, but whatever. Can Tauros learn Flamethrower? I know he learns Fire Blast. And oh no, Cooper's dead. But uh, he does have re-raise, so he will be resurrected. And maybe Algus will do it for us anyway. You know, imagine that Algus being useful. Maybe all sweet glee to weapon guarded that. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. And then... No, I think I just need to uh, attack and try to kill this guy. 90%. And we hit. I'm still psyched about that... Uh, that uh, not re-raise. The, uh, the invite actually going off. So we gotta win this fight. <laughs> we have got to win this fight. Cooper's re-raise is gonna come up momentarily. I wish the knight would heal himself. And now my building is poisonous instead of Regan. Although I think he was a uh, was such before. Cooper needs to get some health back. So I'm gonna use uh, not wish um, cheer up on him. And we missed. And blah knows. Cheer up as well. 78% in the hit. And we're going to wait. Get a turn quicker. Alex is going to throw stone. Do some useless crap. 4 damage. Who cares? Okay, the wizard's now dead. Oh my gosh, don't kill my new dude. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're going to do blow fire. We'll do a pretty good amount there. Okay. And I think we're just going to have Tauros wait. Mediator, let's see what we can do. Uh, Pooch, we have bad comp. Well, Cooper and Dirt have bad combat, so that's probably not going to work. Let's see, Yin Yang Magic. I could try a Spell Absorb on somebody, but whatever. Hmm. No, okay. Kind of out of range there. Let's see, who do we have left? I think it's just this archer and this mage who's berserked, right? And this, is this, no, this is the one with the poison. Okay, so we're going to uh, move dirt down here. And let's see if we can maybe spell absorb. Yeah, that's going to be five. From Delita, it's going to be six. So that's not really worth doing. Uh, we're going to try to talk skill. Okay, maybe not. We're going to preach then and try to uh, add re raise to dirt. And miss. Time strike, kills Algus. Okay, blah, let's see. Let's see what sign this guy is. He is Libra, which I think is good combat, right? Yes, okay, so maybe we can deal decent damage to this guy. If I can get in range of him. Okay, hopefully this will hit. So we're gonna move down. 16, okay, not still not that great. Uh, Ted is our crazy berserk uh, dude over there. 32. That's almost gonna kill though. Delita, please make a hit on him. Thank you. Dash. Okay, sweet. And now Fla cannot die. Alright, it's just the mage now. And Cooper finally got re-raised. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to do... Uh, Preach with Cooper. Try to get some re-rays going on again in case he somehow dies and it missed. And Tauros, look at look how much HP Tauros has. He's got 232. Ridiculous. Okay, uh, we can probably kill this mage in one hit now. Uh, yeah, okay, we're just gonna... Yeah, I, I don't care about getting crystals or whatever. I want to get out of this fight. And he dodged from the back, guarded. Okay. And that thing's dead now, so he's gonna finally heal himself up. Too bad we don't have anything better to heal him with. 
Uh, let's see. I'd like to get Blob back up here in case one of these guys crystallizes and he can pick up the last uh, marksman skill, which is, I think, Temporal Strike? Yeah, Temporal Strike. And uh, it's basically it works on hasted units and does a crap load of damage and cancels their haste. But uh, it doesn't do anything if they're not hasted, so. Let's see, we're gonna try to preach. Not there, apparently. Uh, okay, we're just gonna preach, preach dirt again. And dirt has been raised. Shouldn't matter at this point, but we're gonna go ahead and have Blah come up here. Look how much move Blah has, because I got him with uh, move plus two, right? And then basic skill. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cheer up himself. Got Regan. Got crystallized. Uh, let's see. Cooper. So Blah doesn't have. Uh, Three rays yet, so we're gonna crack that on him. Three rays, job level up, cool. Because I know I need some more JP to get trained. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'm actually going to wait with him because I want to see if Block can get this crystal. Go stone, pull him down a little bit more. I'm already poisoned, so whatever. Uh, let's see, dirt. I'm going to. No, 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 not right there. Not right there. Uh, we're gonna move over here. And we'll try to preach for our new friend, who's almost dead in the mist. He's pushing himself so he won't die, because he's got a lot of health too. It's going to be some good armor we get. Okay, where's Blah's turn? Okay, well, we need to wait again. And we're going to wait again here. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to get this crystal. Okay, we're going to get... Okay, we're not going to get what we wanted, but we'll get some abilities, so whatever. Wait. That guy's crystallized now too. I guess we'll wait again. I wish poison would wear off. Like we're gonna end up and have this guy being critical. If we're not careful. So we're gonna move dirt over here. And I think Pox goes out of range. So maybe we need dirt on his hat. Uh, yeah, that's instant, right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Try to put the guy to sleep, I guess. It's worth a chance, right? I mean, we hit on a 5%. Freaking invite, so whatever. Phoenix down on August. And nobody is actually dead yet, so we're not on a counter or anything. I just want to make sure that we don't have Taurus die. Okay, counter attack, and that guy died. Oh, Meat Bone Slash, right? Yeah, 232 is what that was. Uh, meat Bone Slash, when you're terminal and uh, you have a chance and you get hit, you have a chance to counter attack with your max HP and damage, so that can deal a crap load. Okay, wow, so okay, 7k in Gil. Bonus skill, Iron Sword, then Robin Ether, not too bad. And we're going to add this guy to our party and do a strip and boot. So sweet. That's really nice. Too bad we didn't get to pick up that last crystal, which may have had some other nice abilities for Blah to pick up. But I'm uh, pretty satisfied with that. So now we get a cutscene. And uh, Algus says, you must be the Death Corps, where is the Marquis? Uh, thanks to a by the way, for uh, telling me to, have to pronounce uh, Marquise as Marquis. Because, you know, whatever. Why is there an S there? Stupid silent consonants. Anyway, Algus says a bad word and kicks the dude because he's a horrible person like that. And we tell him to stop. Algus says more bad words. He says more bad words. He's uh, pretty much talking down to this dude. Everyone's saying bad words. What's up with this? I don't know. No one cares, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he got the bat, the, uh, Commoner uses a bad word, and look, Alice says, watch your language. Despite the fact that Algus was saying bad words to him, so, you know, there's obviously some social inequity going on in this game, which is kind of one of the, uh, yeah, here's, yeah, this is kind of the whole argument of the Death Corps, right? So, uh, that's one of the recurring themes of this game. Who kidnapped Elmder, and it's some radical in the Death Corps. It's kind of like, uh, like Gustav. Who's that? Gustav. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, I used to try to pronounce it as Margrelief, but that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I, I think I'm doing an R to L there, too. So, anyway. Algus just apparently knows Falcon Kick or something, because he keeps beating the crap out of this dude. But anyway, we're going to figure out where this dude is. Where's Gustav? Sandrat Cellar. Sandrat at 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 Yes, so we're going to go in the desert next. 
So that's where we're uh, going to go after this cutscene in. Cellar means a rat's nest. Oh, okay. So Algus is apparently scared of rats. What a... Whatever. Uh, anyway. Okay, so our next map is going to be Zeklaus Desert. Right? Yeah, Zeklaus Desert. And here's a little uh, formation thing. Since I said I was going to do this at the end of the video, so we can make sure we had a successful video. Uh, here's our new person, uh, Kelly, which is... Uh, gonna give us all this nice mithril stuff and be a big upgrade for Seaman, so that's really nice that we got him invited. Uh, definitely much more, or much easier to do than just trying to steal, steal, thief steal, steal, steal everything. And uh, we have Cooper's and Mediator, as we saw, and uh, he also has monster skill to unlock the uh, Sacred Cleave, which I'll probably take off now that I know Sacred Cleave is not infinite vertical tolerance like I thought it was. Uh, Blas still a marks or yeah, still a marksman. He's got a couple more marksman abilities now, though. Uh, he's only missing temporal strike. He's got heartache strike, which lets uh, uh, members of the opposite sex know that you're not interested, so block and reject people, and add random negative status. Not super bad status, but a pretty decent status. I know it can add don't move, so that's a pretty decent status, I guess. Uh, this reduces opponents brave. Uh, we saw this last video, and Stunning Strike can interrupt and cancel like a charging spell or whatever, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, obviously these are all depending on weapons, so you know, do them at a range. If you've got Ninja with two swords, you know, you can maybe do them twice, which is pretty sweet. We may actually try that out with uh, Seaman in the future. Uh, Seaman still is a knight, and finally learned Equip Armor, so uh, I'm, I've been working on Monk with him to try to get him over to Ninja so we can wield two swords. So uh, we're going to switch him back to Monk now, and uh, I've also been having... So let's go ahead and actually equip everything from Kelly, and probably give him the boot. Because you can only have 16 people in your party in this game, so uh, that's not very many. Especially if we start catching monsters, then uh, yeah, we really need to make sure we keep room available in our party. Equip the maximum, he's got 216 HP now, so yeah, look at that. And we also, we also got a Leather Mantle, which we didn't have any of those. And uh, Monk's Character Evade is among the highest at like 20%, so that's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, that should be a pretty, pretty decent setup. I may switch him back to Battle Skill, though. Gasso is also a Monk. Uh, when you use... Uh, whenever you have a unit in battle, like if Gasso was a Monk, and everyone else who was also in that battle also gains a little bit of JP in the Monk class just by like observing Gasso, so that's pretty sweet. So uh, obviously if you get two going at the same time, you can, you know, rack up some bonuses pretty quickly. So I've been, in random fights, I've been trying to put those two together. And uh, Dirt's been our mediator, because uh, I'm going to have Dirt and Cooper kind of be the Pokemon trainers of the uh, uh, playthrough. And we're going to have Cooper with train so he can uh, uh, instantly catch anything if it gets down to critical HP. Wouldn't that be nice if uh, Pokemon was in critical HP and it automatically got caught? That'd be pretty nice, huh? Uh, and Vale, I don't think I don't think we changed anything with Vale. She's still got uh, new. Oh wait, we actually did learn one new ability, which was uh, Death, I think, right? Death, yeah, to instantly kill stuff and uh, yeah, add dead to make things dead. So cool. And I think that's about it. Uh, we will be working Vale. I th I, th I planned out our classes a little bit more. Vale is going to work towards Samurai. Uh, Dirt is going to work toward Geomancer. If you're wondering why we're having a mage do samurai stuff, you probably uh, are not that familiar with this game. Because uh, samurai is basically a magic unit in physical unit's clothing uh, due to draw out. But anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're eventually going to have Cooper be a mime too, because when I was playing Final Fantasy VI, Cooper was go go, and that's what was up with that. So uh, we're going to probably have him be a mime. I know mimes are a, a little bit nerfed in this game as far as level ups go, but they have like innate counter and other nice things going on for them. And uh, I don't know if we'll use Tauros again or not, but it was nice to get to use in this fight. Berserk definitely came in handy. So uh, thanks Tauros, take a good long rest. We don't have 30 of you like Ash Ketchum, but whatever. Uh, anyway, I think that will do it for this video since we're up to like 30 minutes now, good grief. And this controller is really buggy when I get onto the um, save screen, but whatever. Anyway, we're going to save here too, and I'll see you guys next video for the Sand Rat Cellar against some... I seem to remember there are some undead guys, but I don't think they are. Maybe that was just a random enemy that had a curse string or something. Anyway, later days.